My name is Ursula O. Robinson, and I'm based in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I was struggling in several different areas, but mainly in the area of the process. So moving from theater to film is a whole different medium. And I did this years ago, but now as I'm coming back, the process is different. The way people approach it is different. And so I was struggling in that area about the process, but it's also struggling in the area of how to make this work. I needed a systematic approach to gaining bookings, to being a person who was actually doing the work and not just dreaming about doing the work. It's the power to make a decision. So throughout the course, you, we were always having to make decisions about how we're going to approach a particular audition. We were taught how to pull everything apart and how to look at it and then make a decision. Because as an actor, you're always going, is this what they want? Do they want this or do they want that? But throughout the course, we will always say, hey, <laughs> favorite line of Miss Christine, you're going to be wrong. So just go ahead and be wrong and do it. And what it did, it empowered me to make a decision to do some things because I kept questioning, is this proper? Is this what you're supposed to do? And all of that really came together in the self-tape mastery. When we were talking about how you follow directions and put what they have put in the audition side, put that to action. I'm telling you, ooh, I'm just gonna be very improper right here. Honey, when I got that, I got that. When I understood that, I, hey, I'm telling you, the moment that I got it, I booked a film. The moment that I got it, I booked a film. Really helped me in lots of areas, but in terms of booking film, it helped me to understand how film works, how to be on set. Now, let me tell you this, any question that you have about this industry, Miss Christine has a video about it. I promise you she does. If there's any question you have about a process, I promise you, she has a process, which makes it just so wonderful because all of the answers are there. So when I went on set, I've been on set before as a, a featured um, backstage or, or featured whatever, but never with working with lines and having a big supporting part. So when I went on set this time as a different part of what we were doing, it was easy breezy because I already had been given instructions. I had already been told what to expect. And even in my interaction, I was working with major stars, you know, I was like, oh, wow. You know, these are people that I dreamed about working with. So I'm working with them. And in the midst of this, I had to understand that we were two actors who were um, trying to create this realistic world and these moments so that we could be the people who bring this film to life. And so in that moment, in that time, it was easy for me to get over my starstruckness and to be a part and work with these wonderful people. It was great. But all of the information that I needed to be successful on set came from my interaction with Christine and from my past experiences. I had questions. And I asked a question and Chrissy said, oh yeah, look at video, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, what about doing this? She said, oh no, look at video, blah, blah, blah. I was like, what? but this is a, a whole entire lifeline of information that you can find with Miss Christine. And I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to work with her. And I love her interaction. I love how she works with people. I love how she's invested in you. A lot of People are selling a lot of stuff. A lot of people want you to be a part of what they're doing. But it's different when you know the person is not just there for a check, but they're there because they want to see you win. That makes you want to win. It's just a different vibe, if you understand what I'm saying. 
it's a different vibe when someone is like, hey, I'm your cheerleader, but I'm also your coach. Sit down, do what you're supposed to do, and hey, you're winning. You can always win. Because if you don't change your mindset and get your mindset in perspective, then you're going to just, woo, get hurt, disappointed in this business. And I'm thankful to have a coach who is always about the holistic picture, not just you as an actor, but you as a person, you as a human being, and about amalgamating your life that you're living outside of this pursuit of film and television, amalgamating that with the pursuit of television and film. There's a special thing about working with Christine. She empowers you to believe in yourself. A couple of months ago, I had a really bad, something happened with my eye and my face was swollen like down here it looked like bell's palsy and my face looked like something out of a nightmare i didn't want to go to work i didn't want to go anywhere because of my face but i got this audition <laughs> and i was like i can play this role i can do this role and i thought about now you know what christine would tell you she was like girl you better put that eye together and get on there and do the role. <laughs> so what I did is I I sent in my self tape. And when I slated myself, I said, this is not the way my eye normally looks. It is an allergic reaction. And then I slated myself and then I did the audition. And Christine tells us about angles. So when I was taping, I angled it so that my eye was not so prominent and everything, but the eye actually worked for the character. And so I was just proud that I had went over. I said, I'm not going to take this excuse because there's no excuses. And I wasn't going to let that excuse stop me. So I submitted it. And to me, that was my victory. That was my win. But I got an email from them saying that they were um, checking my availability for the role. Now, come on, with the bad eye. Yes. And then, you know, everything kind of melted away with the corona things going on and everything shut down. But I believe in God that when they start filming again, that they will call me with my good eye and I will be on set. So it's, it's you don't let nothing stop you because I knew that I could do the role. I knew that the role fit the personality and the way people perceive me. I knew that I could do it. And it was only like three or four lines. Honey, me and that bad I we did it. And I was so excited. And I was just so, I was like, oh my goodness. And I sent a tape to an industry friend of mine. And they were like, hey, the eye really works for what you're doing. It's like, yeah, and I didn't notice it. I said, they said, I noticed you use the right kind of angles and all that stuff. I was like, I got a coach, girl. <laughs> So I'm just saying that was just um, a phenomenal experience. And I'm so thankful to have a coach who has taught me to no excuses, no excuses. You can win. Cause one thing you cannot take away from me. Ooh, honey, I may love blonde wigs. I may love wigs period, but you can't take away from me that I can act. It was like something clicked and turned in my head. I put me first. I put a lot of people first. <clears throat> but, but I decided to put me first. An actor or actress, however you would like to define yourself, an interpretive artist who is on the fence about taking this class. Take the class. Because if you don't, don't take the class, you're going to slap yourself three months from now when you realize the amount of information that you miss, because you're going to know somebody who knows somebody that took this class and they're going to talk to you about how much they progress because they took the class. Why should you take the class? Because this is not just about an acting class. It is about a you class. It is about you. 
because the things that you get, the information that you get helps you to change your mind. You got to shift your mind in order to be in this business. And some people want to be in the business and be like, it's about the hustle. It's about the this and blah, blah, blah. And doing it, blah, blah, blah. I want to be famous. I want to be this. But then there are people out there who want to do it because they love it. They can't do anything else. It for them is what they were born to do. Miss Christine was born to do this, but she was also born to be a coach. She's a natural coach and she has an investment in you. She wants to see you be successful. I have heard so many conversations and so many different things about the way in which she interacts with other people, with other students who come from all different kinds of life. People who've had greater experience, people who had less experience, people who had middle experience, people who had no idea what was going on. And she dealt with all of them within the same class within the same class and everybody had a takeaway. And once you get in the class, I'm gonna tell you, you get what you want. If you get in the class and you don't apply yourself, then you still get something, you really will. But if you apply yourself, you'll be booking something within the first two, three weeks of class, I promise you. This is not her guarantee. This is just me. So don't kind of sue me. Don't try to sue Miss Christine. But I'm telling you, this is what will happen for you. Because all you got to do is shift your mind. And somebody maybe has not told you how to shift your mind. The best thing about this class to me is, is it a systematic approach to booking television and film? Everybody won't come to the table the same way. But here is someone who's presenting you with all of the steps and the tools that you need so that you can be successful. I don't know what you're going to get out of the other acting classes, but with this class, when you leave, you're definitely going to get at least 12 months worth of activities to do to market yourself. You're going to get um, ways in which to reach out to other people and network. You're also going to discover what is your issue the thing that is holding you back you're going to meet other people who can help you along the way but most of all you're going to get information that has been vetted information that has gone through a process and it's going to come from someone who is cheerleading for you how can you beat that get off the fence take the class change your life